bag, packed to wear a nigga trippin' Nigga got a problem with my dogs and I'm trippin' till I fall Yo, what's up, guys? Beaver Mods, aka IP It Hurts, and today we're bringing you something a little out there, and that is the Mandela Effect. Whether you believe in it or not, that is up to you. Now, what's the Mandela Effect? Quick explanation, we'll show you real quick. What is the Mandela Effect? Basically, it's about this world and people within it remembering things different. Like you may remember in uh, Star Wars, Luke said, or Dark Vader said, Luke, I am your father, when he really said, Luke, I am not your father, or some shit like that. It's a collective of misremembering or fact or event. It's really, it has to do with de um, dimensions and dimensional physics, which I have great knowledge in not not a ton but I know how it works I'm not saying I'm a true subscriber to the Mandela effect but something strange is going on all right now the biggest one to come out a guy was taking a trip and he looked out he happened to get a aisle a window seat and it was right by the wing so he looked out and what he seen blew his mind commercial jet engines now I want you to think real quick, when you think of commercial jets and military jets, where are their jet engines mounted? You know, they could have one on each side or two on each side. Okay, now you're either going to be the one that says you remember them where I'm fixing to show you they are in our dimension now, or you're going to be one that's about to get their mind blown. Okay. I remember all airplane engines being mounted underneath the wing, okay? Not out in front like that. That's not even a good example. I'm talking like jumbo jets like this. Wing, engine out front. Every single jet has the same thing. This is about the closest one that comes. It's not. Every jet. Now tell me something. How much do you think one of these engines weigh? They have to weigh a lot. And you're telling me on this airplane, with this aluminum bodied frame that holds gasoline in it, that they put just a, a one straight bar of you know, titanium steel, whatever, and it holds this whole damn engine up way out front of it? Seems a little weird to me. I mean, this one's flipping people out. Everybody that I've shown to it, who had not heard of it, it has blown their minds. So let me get you a better example of these different jet engines. Commercial airplanes for existence. Let's just go and then go like do them on. I mean, every single one you're going to see, the engines are out in the front. I do not remember them ever being out extended. To me, they were always mounted underneath the wings, and I, w I wouldn't say the front of the engine was flush with the wing, but it was within a foot or, foot, foot or foot and a half. It was not. It was not, I repeat, like this. That's just insanity. Now, this is the crazy part. If you have a picture of a jet plane, and you took it in 1990, and that jet plane had engines underneath its wings, now the wings have moved forward. Here's a quick way to explain dimensions and how they work, okay? Everything starts with a reference point. It has no atoms, has no mass. Those two reference points can come together or create a line. That line can come together and multiply and create a square. That square is a two-dimensional universe, right? Now, if you live in a two-dimensional universe, there's only width and depth. There is no height. So, if you're an ant living in a two-dimensional universe, what would it look like to pass a sphere through that two-dimensional universe? Well, the ant, first of all, would have to be right on top of where you're passing it to see it, because you cannot see distance in a two-dimensional universe. So, but what he would see is the smallest dot appear, the color of the ball, 
and then it would get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. He would not see the top of it, and, and it would get as big as its middle circumference, and then get smaller and smaller and smaller and go away. To him, that would look like freaking magic, right? So, you take that 2D universe, multiply it, what do you get? You get R cubed, our 3D universe, with depth and height. Okay, now you get um, a fifth dimensional universe, which, uh, what's it called? Like a hypo, a hy oh man, let me see. I know what a terrorette is, and that's like one of the bigger ones. Fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. All right, so here we go. Okay. So here's our 3D. Here's the 4D. Here's the 5D. Okay. And it's all a multiplier. So for the 4D to be able to exist, it is inside the 5D, right? For the 3D to exist, it's inside this 4D. This is inside the 3D. So what is stabilizing our 3D? Of course, a 4D and a 5D. And maybe all the way up to a ninth or tenth at the most dimensions. Here's a terrat. And this right here is basically what the, let me see, the full universe. Everything is numbers. There was a story about a guy who got beat up and jumped outside a bar and they stomped his head. But when he woke up, it was kind of strange because all he seen, everything he seen was new to him and it was made out of the lines and shapes of the sky. Everything had lines to it in, um, you know, shapes and math. And this guy went on to learn mathematics and put everything together. And he's one of the leading mathematicians on this type of stuff. So there you go. So now what would it look like if a fourth dimensional being grabbed something out of our third dimensional world? You know, because what is their fourth dimension? Hmm. That's the question. And how does the Mandela effect... Um interact with our universe to create these weird ass things like jet planes always have an engines underneath them and all of a sudden they're way out in front and then every picture's way out in front every blueprint you know that is very strange now quantum mechanics and quantum computing have proven that there are alternate which means different universes for different universes to exist they're not in another dimension they're not in another dimension in the sense that we both have the same great 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 grandparents, you know what I'm saying? It goes up. So we might not be able to see them, but they came down from us. Just like the you know, you seen the fourth dimension like this, the fifth dimension. We could be right here in this cube and they are everything. So they could live here and we would never see them. Very strange stuff. All right, let's get back to the Mandela effect. The, and the jet, the jet planes. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Now, I want you to think of the Chase Bank logo. You know Chase Bank? You had Chase, and then it had like this weird little round, you know, design circle to it. What color do you remember that? Because I do remember the color that the Mandela effect proponents claim it used to be, and that is a bluish color. <sighs> Mandela Effect Chase Bank logo. Alright, so here it is. This is what everybody remembers Chase Bank looking like. And somebody may have caught this happening in real time. A lady used to drive by the bank every single day, every single day, every single day. One day, it went from bluish to a white. One day she drove by and she noticed that these two letters were starting to turn a little bit black. Then eventually it's black and then all of their logos right now are all black. And yeah, a company could change it, but 
that's the number one rule in business is if you have a logo you don't go changing it up so it's very weird look into it and tell me what you think about the airplanes do you remember the wings being under them do you actually remember them being out in front there's so many things about this we have a couple minutes we'll, we'll do it some of the best Mandela effects 25 mind-boggling Mandela effects all right so always block those because they'll give you like uh, pop-ups in the corner let's see all right so the Bernstein Bears that's what I used to call them as a kid they were the Bernstein Bears not the Baron Stan Bears <laughs> It's pretty weird. And uh, Billy Graham's death. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Number of U.S. states. I remember 50 in the Continental plus two, right? Australia, United States Republic, states consists of 50, right? So why do many people call United States Republic 51 or even 52 states? Well, it was 50 plus Alaska and Puerto Rico, right? Uh, Oh yeah, we are the champions at the end. This one got me. The very end, we are of the world. He says it at the end of the damn song. I would swear by my life. But you go and search that song. And he never said it in the song at the end. Of the world. Never said it. You can't find that anywhere. That one kind of got me. I never heard about the explosion of the shuttle. Let's see, a second over in NASA Space Shuttle Program exploded. Okay, now listen, before I read all that, I was in kindergarten. That would make it 1986 or so. All right, let's see, yep. Okay, so the second over in Space Shuttle Challenge on January 28th, resulted in death. However, people would call it exploding earlier. No. Nope, I was in sixth grade. All right, I know that you're peanut butter one. Um. Jiffy peanut butter is a very popular snack. I'll turn remember calling it saying Jiffy. Yeah, we call it Jiffy at least. Oh, yeah, Curious George's tail. This is a good one. Um, yeah, basically, he had no tail. <laughs> Dark Vader, I told you about. This one's pretty cool. C3PO, if you're a fan of those, about his legs, how he, I don't know, you have to look into it. Very weird. I don't watch that. Oh, the Oscar Mayer one, the famous uh, Oscar Mayer, actually, Oscar Mayer. This is another strange one. Nothing ends all right. I don't know if people choose Martin Luther King's death on Mount Disney World. We know about that one. And I think that's about it. So tell me what you guys think about this. Like I said, I'm not a full subscriber to the Mandela Effect. Seriously. But it boggles my damn mind. Now, if you want to learn more in your instances about the uh, dimensional dimensional physics, search Neil deGrasse Tyson. What keeps him up at night? Something like that. He is a genius. Whether he doesn't want to call himself that or not, he taught me so much watching one documentary. And he explains it in ways that you can understand it. Hey, he doesn't say, Luke, I am your father. He actually says, uh, no, I am your father. All right. C-3PO, his right leg is actually silver. We have Forrest Gump, I always said, Mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. When uh, actually he doesn't, he says, Mama always his mama always said life was like a box of chocolates, right? But you'll hear him say was. Yeah, life was. Mama always said life was like this. That's how I remember it. How do other people remember it? Mama always told them life is like. Oh, yeah, that's true. And the reason I'm kind of speeding through this is because we only have 30 seconds left. Well, that's it. Subscribe. Hit that damn bell so you get notifications when I go live. Let me know what you think of this. Want me to do more? Uh, what do you think? I mean, we do live in a real matrix, people.
Till next time, peace.